Tuesday, January 29th, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, I want to talk more about this polar vortex that's coming down into the upper Midwest. Right now, as I do this video, temperatures are already below zero in Minnesota, Wisconsin, parts of the Dakotas, northern Illinois, and central Illinois into the single digits already, and the polar vortex is moving in. What you're looking at here at nullschool.net are the upper level winds. And this is the central low pressure system that's the main driver of the polar vortex, or it's the big part of the central low pressure system. Here at Null School, we're going to go down to the surface and look at some of these surface temperatures here from the GFS model. And we're going to look at the GFS model also at VentiousGuy.com. Both very good sources of weather information. And right now what I'm looking at is just basic uh, ground temperature on uh, tomorrow morning, January 30th at 7 a.m. The burgundies you see are the coldest temperatures. Let's just hop in here and take a look. Minus 34.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, this is tomorrow at around 7 a.m. Over here in Chicago, minus 25. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the all-time record low for Chicago is, let's see if I can find it here real quick, minus 27 degrees Fahrenheit. So could set an all-time record low for the city of Chicago. Now, something else I want to talk about in Chicago is all of those buildings that are uh, covered in glass windows. Something that needs to be considered uh, with regard to this cold air is the wind coming out of the west-northwest any buildings or homes for that matter with single pane windows facing west or northwest into these very cold winds because we're going to talk about wind chill here in just a minute too with these cold cold temperatures and we're looking at in this area where, where I'm at here is west central Illinois and you're looking at negative 26 and that's north and east of Quincy north of Springfield let me zoom in a little tighter and see if I can get more precise here we go all right, uh, Macomb, minus 26. And again, this is according to VentiousGuy.com, and this is the GFS model. Quincy, minus 21. Jacksonville, minus 22. Rushville, minus 24. Versailles, small community in between Jacksonville and Quincy, minus 22. I took a screenshot of some temperatures two days ago, and it was showing a different temperature for tomorrow morning. And this is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And that looks like it's going to be the coldest part of the day tomorrow at 7 a.m. tomorrow. And here you can see January 30th at 7 a.m. Versailles, minus 22. I took a screenshot back on the 28th of this same location. And you can see how the forecasted model had changed. Two days ago, it was showing negative 18. Now the model is showing negative 22 so that factored in with the wind let's take a look at the wind because I've got a wind chill calculator from the National Weather Service that we're going to calculate some wind chills just for a few of the areas um, here at VentureSky.com either way guys all across the Midwest in the Dakotas Wisconsin and Minnesota where it's already below zero right now um, Indiana Ohio Michigan Illinois uh, St. Louis, parts of Missouri, um, clear over into northern Tennessee. It's going to be cold, not near as cold as uh, here. Let's say Rushville. It's going to be negative 24. Let's look at the wind speed. You go here to VentureSky.com, and I'm looking at the ground temperature, or at least two meters above ground. So minus 24 is a pretty common number through west central Illinois for tomorrow morning, January 30th at 7 a.m. Let's look at the wind speed, not the gusts the wind speed that's what you're looking at right now so in the same location wind speeds of 15 12 14 16 just depends on where you're at but that's a pretty steady wind and again coming out of the west that's very important when you're talking about an extreme situation like this details matter and I'm going to explain why but first let's look at the wind chill taking into consideration a minus 24 degree temperature and that's the actual temperature and we'll go to I had one earlier set up for Rushville at 15 mile an hour wind speed let's go to the wind chill calculator minus 24 actual temperature 
24 and we're going to put in the wind speed of 15 miles per hour and we're going to calculate that's going to create a feel like temperature of negative 50 degrees and that's just one community out of thousands that are through here throughout this area multiple states it's going to affect millions of people starting tonight it's already starting right now as i do this video in parts of wisconsin well all of wisconsin and all of minnesota to the best of my knowledge are already in the negative degree range and it's only going to get colder these whites are in the negative uh, upper 20s lower 30s and in some cases lower uh, 40 degree fahrenheit unbelievable chicago and many other areas as you can see through here this is going to cover a wide area and a lot of people going to set a lot of records another thing too guys is water pipes especially if you have water pipes in the exterior walls of the west side of your house you can see this wind is predominantly coming out of the west west northwest that's going to be receiving the brunt of this wind so let's look at wind gusts this will also calculate wind gusts here at VentureSky.com. And you can see wind gusts coming out of the west, moving left to right. So that's west to east. Some uh, places are looking at 30, 34 mile an hour wind gusts in Aurora, around Chicago, all of those glass buildings. Any homes, especially mobile homes that are exposed to these 30 and, and 25 mile an hour wind gusts with temperatures below negative 20 degrees there's a pretty good chance that the pipes the water pipes are probably going to freeze you can have all of your faucets on a slow drip all night tonight and throughout the day tomorrow that may help but mobile homes are um, especially prone when temperatures get this cold to water pipes freezing homes that are facing directly into the wind let's go back to the wind again and you can see the wind is coming out of the west northwest it's rotating counterclockwise part of this big polar vortex that if we look at it again in the upper to mid latitudes you can see the wind is definitely rotating counterclockwise so the winds are going to be coming out of the west northwest any homes that have single paned windows and let me show you what i mean by single pane windows that means it's got dual or single glass okay this is a single pane window all right this is a dual pane window you have one window that's exposed to the outdoor elements the inside window is exposed to the indoor elements so let's say the inside of your home is 70 degrees or 72 degrees there's a gap between the interior window and the exterior window that's a dual pane window so that's going to keep the extreme cold air off of the interior window that's 70 degrees now let's go over and talk about the single pane window aren't too many homes that have single pane windows um, it, it, modern homes most of them use dual pane but there are still some that have single pane windows here's what you've got you've got one window separating indoor temperature of 70 degrees from outdoor of a feel like because the glass is going to feel that wind especially if it's facing west northwest it's going to feel like negative 40 and in some cases negative 50 degrees so if the inside of the window and you've got a mere 16th of an inch or an eighth of an inch at best separating 70 degrees from negative 50 degrees that's a hundred and twenty degree difference that this glass is feeling and what they call that is thermal stress cracks this is from shankowindows.com this is a window company this is what they specialize in is windows it goes on to say can windows crack from winter weather the short answer is yes and it's a phenomenon called thermal stress cracks and it goes on to explain what i just explained to you in short form these types of windows here are prone to this phenomenon because there's not much separating the ins inside temperature of your home and that's what the inside of this glass feels let's just say it's 70 degrees to keep it simple the outside is negative 40 negative 50 that's what it's feeling if it's facing into the wind that's a 120 110 degree difference that's going to create cracks you know something else that can create cracks is when it's this cold 
the trim that holds the window in place, the color of the trim can make a difference. And when I talk about details, the smallest things make the biggest difference in conditions like this, they really do. The trim, if it's dark, it's going to absorb more radiant heat from the sun. So that means the exterior trim might be a little warmer on some homes than others. So let's say it's negative 50 degrees in an entire community and homes that have their windows trimmed in a light color more than likely may or may not crack if they're especially if they're dual pane if they're dual pane they're probably not going to crack because you've got a quarter of an inch at least separating the in inside temperature from the outside temperature so they should be good this one here though it, it, even if it's a light color it's not going to absorb a lot of radiant heat a dark colored trim will and that's going to create an even bigger difference in the the temperature let's say you know the trim now is going to be you know X amount of degrees up against a window that's feeling a negative 50 degrees so that creates cracks and in fact at that website that I just showed you um, there's a picture from 2017 and that young lady's window right there cracked due to the cold air so it has happened it can happen more than likely it's going to happen again during this cold air stretch from this polar vortex wind chill factors like i was showing you earlier this is just one example where at minus 24 with a wind speed of 15 that's a steady wind not a gust minus 50 will not be uncommon at all um, especially from west central Illinois all the way up to Canada and into Canada obviously places in Canada could see negative 40s negative 50s quite easily it's already in the negative 20s and 30s in Minnesota and Wisconsin so this is going to be a widespread event that involves millions of people if you're in mobile homes keep your water any home for that matter keep it on a slow drip especially overnight to keep the water moving keep those water molecules moving because if they sit still in your pipes and they're exposed to a west facing wall or that wall that west wall is exposed to that wind good chance your pipes could freeze but if you have it on a slow drip it keeps the water moving just enough it might keep your pipes from freezing one other thing you might see in this area this entire area where these temperatures are going to be extremely cold record setting you might see all-time record lows set in some of these areas you're going to see this phenomenon and it's going to be quite common so look for this out your window or if you do happen to go outside for a brief moment in time look up you may see extreme versions of these sun halos with very big personalities because the colder it gets and the more ice particulates that are in the atmosphere the bigger these are the brighter these halos are going to be at least they're going to be very bright and they could have multiple features so look for halos in the sky with multiple features they're going to be there this was sent in from minnesota where it's already very cold this was sent in when the temperature was 25 below zero so thank you big Big B for sharing that with us. We're going to see a lot of those in the coming days as these cold temperatures are starting to move in courtesy of this polar vortex that's going to be around for the next couple of days at least and then it's going to move to the east. Here's another one sent in from Minnesota. This one as it's on the horizon. I think this is a sunset sent in by Scott and I want to say this is from Minnesota as well. Awesome picture here sent in by Linda. You can see the sun reflecting off of the the lake and the mountains in the background, small hillside, palm trees, a little bit of fog. Looks like something out of a movie. Awesome picture. Thank you, Linda. Purple Sky sent in by Ann. And she, um, Ann is 80 years old. Sent this in and uh, said she had never in her entire life seen a sky that was that purple. Um, here's a picture sent in by e -Rock of the moon. And this was on the evening of the eclipse and the moon looked really super unique and I have not done anything to this photograph this is the way he sent it to me I don't know if it's been edited a little bit or what but he said it had a big personality when it was real low on the horizon like that so cool picture thank you very much I appreciate it another awesome sunset Tiff from San Francisco sees some really good sunsets from time to time and shares those pictures with us thank you Tiff 
This was sent in by Ashley from Austin, and she happened to catch that meteor or meteorite that uh, impacted the moon during the lunar eclipse. There it is right there. She sent in a lot of awesome pictures of the eclipse that I'm going to put together a video just of the eclipse and the pictures you guys sent in. I greatly appreciate it because I was not able to even get a decent picture of the eclipse as conditions were just not favorable at all. But guys, if you're in the Midwest or the upper Midwest, the Mississippi River Valley, the Ohio River Valley up in Wisconsin, obviously in Canada, Canada, you guys are more used to these colder temperatures than they are, especially down in west central Illinois and Indiana, Ohio. You're looking at, I think, negative nine in parts of Ohio, negative three, negative five. So very, very cold covering a wide area. Remember, the windows, west facing windows, if they're single pane windows, just, just know that there is a, a, a phenomenon called thermal stress cracks, and it's because of the temperature extremes the inside of the window feels a 70 or a 72 and the outside feels a negative 40 or 50 well that's a big wide gap between hot and cold and it's going to create cracks pipes can freeze you can try to avoid that um, just remember the wind is going to be coming out of the west northwest if you have water or water pipes or water lines on that side of your house they're going to be exposed to this brutally cold air that you can see moving around here at the ghost 16 infrared as this polar vortex is making its way south and bringing wind chills of negative 40 and negative 50 degrees thanks for watching guys have a super day be safe out there